Wee! I didn't want to wake you. I just glide along the ground on your testicles. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is games for cakes and welcome back to Dark and Light. Today we're gonna take Craig out here for a spin, our boy we, we tamed at the end of the last episode. And we're gonna see what he can do, like what he can harvest, what resources he gets from different uh, things, and what fights he can get into and what he can survive. Hopefully we're not gonna get him killed. But anyway, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Craig here is very good at collecting a couple of resources. Now, if we're gonna take Craig out here to the bushes and we make him hit the bush, you see he gets a lot of berries. He gets some of uh, the straw and he gets some white cup mushrooms as well. So if you're looking for white cup mushrooms, that's the way to go. And he gets a lot of berries, which is great. So if you want to make things like the berry, um, whatever it's called, what is it called? Berry jam? Let me just check here. There we go. If you want to make berry jam where you need 45 berries for, he's, he's definitely the animal to go to. Now, when we hit wood, let's just go to here. When we hit normal wood, he will get about equal amounts of wood and twine and a couple of apples. So that's pretty average. He's still good in, in you know, uh, gathering these type of resources, but you're probably better off doing them yourself with your axe. Now, when we get down to the water, though, this is where it gets interesting. Here down in the water, we usually get these flowers, okay? So if we hit them with the sword, so let's go here. We usually get red flowers, loads of grass, and some berries and a little bit of twine. But if we use Craig to go down here into the water, look at that. He gets 70 berries, 20 odd mushrooms, so he gets a lot of resources. There you go. And some fungal spores as well. So berries, again, absolutely massive amount of berries. That's the way to go to make your berry jam. Let's see how well he can fight a sheep. Level 12 sheep. We're level 18. Oh, we're getting stuck on the map. He's cheating. Oh, he's glitching. He's cheating. There we go. Oh, no way. The glitches are real, guys. Oh, the glitches are re Okay, that's it. We're going to do second attack and just run it over. There we go. Oh, this is some glitchy sheep. There we go. We got it. Let's see how well he fights against another boar or two boars. What level are they? Four and eight. That should be okay. Oh, they're actually running away. That's interesting. Oh, no. He got us on the flip side. Oh, no. He got us from behind. I think we got him. I think we got him. Yeah. Now, Craig is losing health all right, but I think we got him. There we go. Nice. Okay. The other boar is behind us, but we got to go head on now. There we go. We're doing damage to it. Oh, we're actually losing a lot of health here. Okay. I think we just... Oh, yeah. We got him. We got him. Just about. So fighting against the level 4 and level 8 who constantly attack us from behind, obviously, is not good. But, wow. Okay. Wow. We found a Stark. A level 68 Stark. That is amazing. Nice. Now we have to get a trough and get some fruit. I think it's fruit. We'll see. What a beauty that is, uh, our stack. By the way, I found Stewie at some point here, our griffin. He's still running around there somewhere at the entrance, running around in circles. Um, he didn't get placed into a stable, so I don't know what they were meaning by 10 minutes. Uh, Craig goes into a stable. But um, he's still fleeing in terror. I saw him. He's flying around. I don't know why he's fleeing in terror, but um, you need to fix that, game devs. Okay. <laughs> I have, like, somewhere a griffin flying around that is just petrified of his own shadow because I'm just incapable of setting his options straight away without rotating through the ones that make him run off. And we just unlocked a couple of new saddles. Very nice, because we're taming something. That is awesome. So let's see what saddles we have available now. Oh, I like this one. What is that? An Arknia saddle. Oh, is that for the spiders? That would be awesome. Then we have the Bagesh saddle, and we have the Krut stack we already had, that the horse one we already had, and the boar. And what is that? A Stirge saddle. Oh, I'm gonna have to look. I don't even know what a Stirge is. There he is, Bob, our new addition to the family. Oh, man, I can't wait for them all to die and me getting all upset. So let's see, we have a Stirge saddle. Oh, Stirge. Um, a saddle for him. Oh, that is nice. Okay, we're way too heavy for him, but that is nice. I love it. 
There's Stewie! You can see him just there between the trees. There he is, majestic Stewie, still petrified of everything that's coming close to him. I think he's stuck on a rock. That would quite it would be actually quite handy if he would. Because we could finally get to him and tell him to follow us. But there is a bug gash there, which I don't really fancy taking on right now. Well, maybe. We have, well, we have a boar and a stag, so we could. But let's, let's not. Let's see. Let's see if we can get there. Ah, balls. He's already attacking. Come on, Greg. You can do it. Go on, Greg. Kill him. Decimate him. Yeah, baby. You did well, Craig. And why are you attacking without my consent, Craig? Not really happy about that. Okay, let's see if we can finally get to this guy, Stewie. Okay, Stewie. Aggression to defensive. Thank you. And aggressive. And attack my target. And now follow me. Okay, just like these guys. So get out of your tree and follow me. You're gonna follow me because I would like you at my house. Oh yeah, baby, Stewie's following us. And where's our boy? There we go, nice. Oh, the trio is all together. This is awesome. We got Stewie back. He got lost. He ran away in fear. But let's see what happens to the sheep when we attack it. Okay, that sheep is dead. I, I think we're okay. I think everybody will just kill everything now when we get attacked. That's good. I like it. <laughs> when you mount your animal when it's asleep, it goes for a little ride. <laughs> Wee! Wee! I didn't want to wake you. I just glide along the ground on your testicles. <laughs> it's the ball sliding. That that's it's a new sport. Look, it doesn't even wake up. It doesn't care. It's like constantly passing Z's. Oh, this is awesome. Can we attack while it's asleep? Yeah. We can't look. Whoa! And then it goes back asleep. <laughs> and it's special defense. Whoa! Yeah, and back asleep. <laughs> Ooh, this is awesome. <laughs> Alright, Bob is awake, so let's see what Bob does. So if we take Bob to a tree. Oh no, it's loading. Please don't let it be a Reaper. <laughs> okay, so there's a tree over here. Let's see what he does with the wood. Okay, he gets definitely more wood than twine. Okay, that's good. Now, what does he do with bushes? Okay, also loads of um, blueberries. Let's have a look. What level are you? Level 12. I'm level 68. I should be able to absolutely kill you. What is my strength? 177 attack. I don't know if that's strong enough for you or not. Let's see. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, big attack. Nice. And now defense. Dodge. Awesome. Boom. Very good. I like it. Oh, he's not doing... Oh, he was stuck. Oh, no. Okay, I don't know if that's a good idea to run over there because Craig, is Craig can't wait to get your ass. Ah, yeah, I knew it. Here, come, here comes the rest of the crowd. Sorry there. Ah, oh, you see, it's always a bad idea to kind of be in Brian's way. Loading lag. Genie macaroni. Come on, like, what the balls? Oh, my lord. That is really driving me mad with this game. That stupid loading lag. I can only imagine that on a PvP server to be the biggest pain in the ass. <laughs> come on, game. Don't crash on me. Okay, so let's check out what these guys are doing, what, what, he, what he collects here. Wow, okay, he collects actually a lot of grass as well. That is good. I like that. I actually prefer that. Because he does an equal amount of grass and he got red flowers as well. That is awesome. That is really, really cool. So with this guy, I'm actually more um, inclined to go down here than with the boar. The boar I'm going to use for everything else, but this guy is awesome because we now have an equal amount of grass and berries and straw. Oh, that is awesome. I love it. Just had a bit of a heart attack. I was going to go up to get some iron ore and Craig, poor Craig, 
he got attacked big time like by a spider I, I just stepped off crack and the map started loading like mental again like you know you're not talking two seconds three seconds you're talking 30 second map lag yeah that, that they have to address that because that is the biggest load of balls yeah but anyway so I step off crack to uh, get something to drink yeah so I was going to go near the I was near the water so I said I'm gonna walk down you know and let him just be whatever and the moment I step off, a level 40 spider just jumps him. I couldn't even kick, uh, click the record button. He nearly died. Unbelievable. So he's just slowly regaining health. Unbelievable. Nearly died. And then when he was nearly dead, and the spider, we killed the spider, and then a goblin attacked him once. And so he got, um, what is that called again? Constitution. His constitution went up. And... Um, my constitution went up so we nearly ended up sitting side by side passed out we just about managed to leg it so i'm not gonna go and get ore probably today anyway what i decided to do instead is i want to extend the platform here come on snap it snap it there we go we want to snap it <laughs> the floor looks horrible like the ceiling actually because it keeps turning and i can't manage to actually turn it the same way it just does what it wants and um, we should be able to do oh no we can't here we can hear okay so what we need is columns so um, a little bit of building now in this episode there we go oh, we can only craft one why is that we need more wood okay so let me go get more wood so we can craft more columns and then we're gonna put the support underneath because i can't build under underneath there anymore like you know the the foundations get all weird so i actually find it easier to build like that so let's get craig and let's go and get some ah, he's eating he's eating his hunger is there that's fine that's fine and let's go and get some more wood so let's see what we have to do. I want to extend this out here and I think we have enough columns. So let me see. We're going to put another support here. Come on. There we go. Very hard to see. Nice. And one more. And I think then we're touching ground. Excellent. Are we touching ground? Oh no, we're not touching ground. Do we have a foundation? Because we won't be able to get another column in. That's the problem. So if we do use another column, we won't be able to snap it underneath. It just it just will not go that low. If you know what I mean. It will just go in it. And that's it. Unless that's it. No, it just won't do it. So what I usually do then is a foundation. It looks ugly as hell. But um, I think I have a... Uh, uh, the foundation actually on my tiger i finished also the little railing here because i have my little mini farming area here which already has um some crop in it as well so you can see here we're growing cooking herb for some reason i i just took the first seed most of the seeds only fit into medium plots this is a low plot it has water it has fertilizer this is my little fertilizer thing but uh, it's all right you know it's it's not too bad there we go so let's use that excellent let's jump and let's see if we can connect. There we go. Look at that beauty. So this is connected now. And this should be able to take the weight. Which means we should be able to put a ceiling right here on that. Yeah, it's probably too too far away. So let's go inside. i show you actually my staircase. I think I showed you that in the last episode as well. Uh, it's not, not a staircase. It's a ladder. Because I get very, very cramped in here now. So I have my little medium storage box now full of iron and um, ingots. But I need to make a magic table, so I want to make some more room. We should be able to connect this now because, um, whoops, we should be able to connect this now because we got the pillar underneath. There you go, look at that. And then we're going to put another pillar underneath here and we can keep building out, which is nice. So now here we're going to build a magic table. The magic table, let me see here, what does it need? Magic table, a magical spellcrafting altar. Use this to create advanced spells. I think we have all these resources. There you go. We just built it. Oh, we leveled up in Thermometer Jersey. <laughs> Whatever the hell you pronounce it. I suppose that unlocks the recipes now. Let's see if we can put it up here. That would be pretty awesome. Oh, it's looking good. I like it. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. So now we have up here on the roof. Now we gotta put some walls up like and make that eventually like, you know, a second level, a proper second level. But in the moment, this is fine. Magical structure. So what do we can do here? A summoning pool. Awesome. Magic essence. Oh my dear Lord. How do I do all that? Magic resources, magic essence, glass bottles. Uh, well, we have one. We need only one. Um, 
What else do we need? Spells. Oh, look at that. So now here we can actually do this, the spells as well. So we don't need to go to the sheep anymore to do them. So we can actually put that one in here. And a wall of fire and a wall of ice. That is pretty awesome. I like that. Cast this combat spell from staff to create an unmovable wall of ice and stop enemies in their tracks. Well, I'm not really sure. By the time you cast it, I'm pretty sure they're already at your neck. Because most of the time, the only reason you're running is, well, because you don't want to fight them <laughs> so um this i'm not really sure where this comes into play but i'm very much interested in magical structures here in the summoning pool a restor restorative magical pool it is said that a powerful mage can use entrapped souls in such a pool to summon familiars into existence so as far as i know is that you can capture the soul of your pets and then when they die you can resummon them I suppose at the time you captured the soul so whatever level it's like a safe I think it's like a safe of your pet so whatever level and stats your pet had at the time you did the you captured soul that's what will be summoned but I could be wrong about that I haven't tried it myself yet obviously so um, but it's only what I got that from other videos when people were talking about it so we're gonna have to try that out soon anyway I'm gonna leave this episode here guys thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge spas and happy gaming. All right, let's make some magical essence. Let's see if they actually have an expiry. Oh, they go very fast. Oh, they don't expire. Nice. That is awesome. So let's craft all five. Do we level anything up? No. Not really. So I would have assumed that some of that stuff actually levels up our Theo Ma, whatever it's called. But we only have six. We need about 20. So what we need is... Wow, we need a lot of bottles. We need another 14 bottles. <laughs> and we need... Um, well, we had the stone and the copper is no problem. Like, you know, we get that really quick. But we definitely need a lot more bottles than that. Wow.